Okay, so let's try this again. So yesterday I uh, had a scam baiting call. It was another Geek Squad scammer. And unfortunately I was using my Zoom account because I was logged in at the time and I just recorded it from there. And yeah, I was all happy getting through my scam baiting call. I was pretending to be Otome Brown and I was a spiritual advisor. And I had him on the phone for about 10 minutes, just messing with him and asking really stupid questions just to, you know, see if I could aggravate him because I was in one of those messing moods. And uh, so I go to um, finish up the call, told him that, you know, I had somebody coming in to give a spiritual reading for, so I had to go because I was at work and I'd call him back after six. So um, he kept, you know, pushing and pushing. So he gave me his, his direct number saying his name is David Silva. He didn't sound like a David whatsoever. So, um, which was quite comical, but so to make a long story short, after I was finished with the phone call and I ended my Zoom, it did not pick up any of his content at all. So it was just me talking. So it was a bummer. I was really bummed. I thought I'd have a good one for you guys yesterday. He didn't even think twice about me being a spiritual advisor. He was so focused on scamming me. So he he has been calling me incessantly today and I haven't had a chance actually last night as well after six o'clock when I was supposed to be back. So I'm going to play the message and then I'm going to test this one before um, I had not recorded from Camtasia, which is what I normally recorded on because the the image, I couldn't get the backlighting right. And so it's, it's still not right. So I tried to use something else and that's what happened. So we'll see if it records this one as well. So here's his voicemail message that he left me last night at seven o'clock. So... Yes, this is David Silva calling you. I tried to call you a couple of times as you asked that you're going to come back. I'm not after, back. after like uh, 6 o'clock. So I'm not able to talk to you. So we will resume the walk by tomorrow. I, I hope that uh, you understand that you had a word with me earlier morning time. So I'll call you back tomorrow 10 o'clock in the morning. Or you can call me back up to 10 o'clock tomorrow in the morning. Thank you. Well, you got to give him politeness. You know, he did say thank you. So uh, I'm going to try to call him back. This one again is a Geek Squad. I got to pull up my Geek Squad image so I can remember what the heck. Um, and figure out how I'm going to play this one forward. What do you want, baby? Okay, uh, I gotta take a second off here. Uh, my my little baby wants to go outside. Hold on a second. Come here, come here, baby. Oh, okay. Say hi to all the people. This is Aria. She's an assassin. She helps me assassinate scammers. Don't you, baby? Say hi to the people. Say hi, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna go let her outside really quick. I'll be back. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to repeat this really quick. So uh, it was a Geek Squad cloud manager scam email that I got. Um, I'm imagining the phone number is going to be disconnected now. Uh, even though he called and left me a message, maybe his number is still up. Um, but the direct support team number uh, is probably disconnected. So it was from uh, November 1st for $319.82. And typical Geek Squad security service. So let's see what David Silva wants to say to me today.
imagine he's on the other line scamming somebody right about now, which makes me really, really upset. So let me see if I can call the 888-784 number back. I thought it would be in here. <laughs> Okay. Um, David Silva. To accept, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. Hello? Uh, yes, this is David calling you. Hi, David. This is Otome. You had called and left me a message. Uh, yesterday we were supposed to get that credit back on my account for Geek Squad. Um, it's just been a really, really bad... You know, I'm not... I'm not very... <laughs> I tried. I tried to call you and I tried to get back to you a lot of time, but... I Nobody know I had I had a client who came in and um, unfortunately her boyfriend was shot and so she, it was really bad. His name was Sam and he got he was murdered in New York last night and so I'm kind of not in the mood to even figure out what's going on. Did you say you're in New York or you're in Philadelphia? There's a lot of violence over there. I don't even know what to think. I yes, absolutely right. We are in Brooklyn. So what happened, like uh, the last time, last day, yesterday, like uh, I, I supposed to call you around uh, like uh, 8 o'clock your time, right? I think 6 o'clock my time. Yeah, six, I'm sorry, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock your time. So I did. I did call after that, but uh, maybe as you said that you were busy, mm -hmm. so you couldn't pick up the phone. So right now, are you at home at the moment? Um, I am at home right now, and um, the, the thing that I'm confused about is I really don't know what bank account you guys would be hitting because I don't, I only go to Walmart and get, you know, the cashier's checks and stuff. So how, where is this money going to come out of? Okay, we will figure it out how we will send it back. We will send it back to your account. So don't worry about, can you just uh, be on the computer and turn it on? Um, how would you send it back to my account? I don't have a bank account. You're going to send me money a different way? I mean, did did they get it on okay. my credit card? Yeah, we can send it to your credit card, right. Okay. Man, you're really, really trying, actually. You know what, David? You sound like a really, really nice guy. Um, are you single? <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for that, letting me know that. Uh, no, I am married. Oh, you're married. Oh, how long have you been married? Just about three years. Three years. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I hope your wife, um, does she, do you guys have kids? No, not yet. Not yet? No. Does she work too? Uh, yes, she's also working. Yeah. Does she work at a scam call center with you? What are you talking about now? Oh, David, honey, um, I'm a certified fraud examiner and I'm investigating scam call centers. So I just wanted to let you know, you, you're you very pleasant to talk to and, and I'd really like to know what your real name is. All right, then there is no more conversation. Well, actually, I wanted to let you know one thing. Um, if you don't hang up yet, I want to let you know one thing. Um, we're having a system come into play in the United States that's going to cut the call center's uh, fraudulent activities down by about 80%. What do you think what you're... Talking about that? Uh, there is a scam prevention method that we're working on in the United States that's going to ruin your business. So how are you going to make money? <laughs> oh, poor David. David didn't like it. I think I'll just keep calling him. I'll retry again. Oh, he disconnected me. Okay, David, I'm going to keep calling you back until you you disconnect that phone number. 
Okay, so obviously David's not going to pick up the phone when I try to keep calling him back because of the number he recognizes. So how about we do this? I think with his phone number, because it it was his personal desk phone number and not the main number they used for the scam, I'm going to post his number here on the YouTube video. And those of you who want to give David a call and keep his number tied up so his script is out of whack when he's talking to people trying to scam him, do what you can to to call David and tell David whatever you want to tell David. Uh, if you want to tell David to have a great day, tell David to have a great day. Or just keep ringing his phone just to bother him. Um, if you do this, though, don't use your personal phone or your personal cell number unless you could block it. But if, if we could inundate him with a bunch of phone calls, that way he can't keep scamming people um, or it messes with his script while he's trying to scam people, then it's going to force him to change another number as well. So give David a call at 805-621-7104. I'm sure he would love to hear from all of us to tell him how much we appreciate him scamming people. So once again, David's phone number at the Fake Geek Squad, direct number to his desk, 805-621-7104. Be on the alert for some upcoming videos. I did a interview with uh, Chief Scam Buster in Colorado uh, yesterday. I'm going to be posting that video here shortly, um, probably in the next couple of days. Um, we have some exciting new directions that we're trying to go on a specific um, scam prevention concept that I had come up with. And I was thrilled that she really liked the concept because she is the Chief Scam Buster um, with the Sheriff's Department. So um, look forward to that. Uh, sorry this one wasn't as exciting. I, I tried to play into it, but I think I'm a little tired today, and so I didn't have as much creativity in this one. So if you could, even though this one wasn't as exciting, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more content. Um, I'll try to see what I can come up with. They're just hanging up way too quick uh, to be able to keep them on the phone. I kept them on the phone longer yesterday before I let them know who I was, and I think that's the direction I'm going to have to take on more of these scam calls. So um, Jeff, I I know you had mentioned that you wanted to email me some of your scam emails. Please feel free to do that because my the emails that I'm getting are kind of limited, so I haven't been getting as many. I think that they took me off their scam email list because they know I'm going to call. And so I've been trying to use my husband's scam emails. Uh, so if you have some you want to send over, just make sure that there isn't a virus attached to it, and I would be happy to see if I could call and mess with them. I think next time I'm just going to mess with them and not identify myself and then just play into it as, as much as possible just to piss them off because at this point they're really really um, trying their best to hang up on the ones who are messing with them and scam the ones that are falling for it.